She's awake. Hi. You're back. Don't try to talk. You still have your breathing tube in. Can you hear me? Just squeeze if you can. You're gonna be okay. Can we get, take these things off? Do you know where you are? Hmm. If I take these off, you can't pull that tube. You have a heart. <laughs> I'm gonna let the doctor know that she's awake. Thanks. We've been waiting for you the entire time. You were in surgery for five hours. And the doctor said we can take out the breathing tube just as soon as everything's stabilized. You look beautiful. How do you feel? Does it feel different? Can, can, can you feel it? You don't have to answer all oh, that. Sorry. Just sorry. try to relax. <laughs> oh, here. Oh, wait. Here. You can write on this. Gus is going to be here soon. He's been asking about you, too. The doctor says everything looks good. He's hopeful. Gus? We didn't tell her. She's going to find out sooner or later that she Just has Gus's heart. Just a little heart. time. That's all, just a little time. When she finds out the truth, she's going to be crushed. She needs time to heal. She's lucky she has you looking out for her. Thanks. Thanks for staying with me and letting me cry on your shoulder. <laughs> Thank you for me, my dad. Yeah, and you still have a mom now, too. Thanks to Gus. Yeah, thanks to Gus. Is a respected businesswoman. That's nice. Where are you registered? Egan's probably. That would probably be the best bet. Although Olivia's probably looking for something a little more upscale. I should have told you. We did it to protect Emma from Alan. Olivia wanted to marry Gus, but he couldn't. Reva, I didn't want her to die feeling alone. Before you know it. Olivia's Mrs. Jeffrey O'Neill. And I'm the mistress. You did something desperate to protect the family. I get that. I've done it a few times myself. Well, you're taking this a lot better than I thought you would. The fact is that Gus is dead. And in the grand scheme of things, I really... I don't have anything to complain about. But there is just one teeny tiny problem. Olivia's not dead. And you're still married. Here are all of Gus's personal things. Thank you. You drop this. Hey, sunshine. So, you got a heart. That's what they tell me. I'm glad you made it. Me too. 
But you know, now I'm gonna have to go out there and tell everyone that I bitch slapped you because you married my guy. <laughs> it's not Jeffrey that I want. It's Gus. Gus? I'm still waiting to see him. I know it's Go because I don't want to hog up all your visiting time. What's wrong? Nothing. I, you know, keys. I can never find my keys. Really? It's it's What's an amazing thing, on? really. You know, you. I hate purses to begin with, and I just keep buying bigger and bigger ones so I can just cram everything in them. Gus, Ava said Gus was going to come see me. Is he okay? Um, you know what? You need to you need wrong. to calm down, sweetie. You just need to rest, okay? I was a nurse's aide a long time ago, about a million years ago. I know this these things. You need to rest. Does he really hurt badly in the accident? I'm going to go get Jeffrey and Ava. They no, you. Tell me, what's it. wrong? Where is he? Uh, he's not here. Gus is... Gus is gone. He's, he's gone where? He's, he's gone. He's, he's, um... The accident he had. It was. <laughs> he, he didn't make it. He didn't make it. I really, I thought they'd already told you that, Olivia. I did. No, Ava, Ava said that he was going to come and see me. Ava didn't want to upset no. you. No. No. I'm alive and he's dead. That's not right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. I'm so sorry. No, he's not gone. <laughs> I, I knew that. I need him. Oh, you got him. You got him. The nurse is on her way. Um, Gus is gone. And I, I, what is the game? What, what's? Olivia, there's no game. There's no jokes. Gus is gone. No, I, I, I need to see him. He needs to know that I, I survived, that I have this new heart beating inside of me. He knows, okay? He knows. No, he needs to know that I fought to live so that we could be together. I prayed for a miracle and God gave me a heart. No, Gus gave you a heart. What? You survived because of Gus. The heart beating inside you is Gus's. I don't want it. You just need to rest. I don't want to be alive if Gus is dead. I don't want his heart. So beautiful, I think we should put it on the wall so mommy can look at it every morning first thing when she wakes up. Ava said you have a new heart. Yeah, that's true. Do you want to feel it? Okay, give me a hand. Very gentle, I have to be very gentle. Don't touch it. It's okay, it's cool. Mommy's heart hurts just a little bit. Hey. You want some ice cream? I heard they have an ice cream sundae bar in the cafeteria. Is it okay, Mommy? Sure, sweetie, it's okay. As long as you don't eat too much and get a bellyache. 
Is that what your heart feels like? A belly ache? Yeah. Let's go get ice cream, honey. Okay? We'll be right back.